Okay, I found an easier way. Let me rephrase that. One of my students found an easier way, thanks Bryce, to make this text inside of a, a picture inside of a text. So I'm gonna show you from scratch how to get this uh, much simpler than the other tutorial I did. So I'm gonna go file, new image. I'm gonna start with HD. You can do any size you want, but you know, the larger you make it, the more you can use it in other things and it looks good. Okay, so first thing you can do is you're gonna just gonna click on text and you're gonna say add a new text layer after selecting the T, just like click add. And I'm gonna type in Marvel, okay? I'm also gonna make sure I'm gonna uh, change the font color by clicking on fill. I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna cha change the font to Daddy Day. Um, that's free and it's it's a big font. And then, um, I'm by the way, to zoom in and out, you can use control plus and control minus, or if you have the roller on your mouse, you can roll in and out and that will give you the effect. Now, my font size is so large that it's actually outside of my box. So I'm gonna change my font size so it fits in my box. And then I'm gonna drag the bounding box by putting the, the double arrow so it turns into two arrows right there. I'm gonna drag it down until it is just at the edges of the screen there and come back. And then you can drag it, by the way, you get these really cool purple lines and that means that my vertical up and down and then I can drag it left and right until I get kind of a perfect uh, target centered, boom, not centered on the paper. Uh, and you can do that however you want. Actually, if I were gonna center it, I'd do it like this a little bit, probably because anyway. Anyway, let's find the picture. Let's find our Marvel picture. This is so much, uh, I did a lot of extra talking, but I'm gonna put a Marvel image. I'm gonna find a picture that has all the people on it. Okay, right there. I'm gonna right click on the image and say copy image. So you right click with the second mouse button, or if you're on a Chromebook or a, a tabletop, you might two finger tap it and that'll give you this context menu and then you're gonna select copy image. We go back, you're gonna press control V, or if you're on a Mac, uh, I believe it's the um, Apple V or command V, and we got our picture. Let's just, um, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna move my photo here. I'm gonna move that layer. I'm gonna get my arrow tool right here. I'm gonna stretch that out so it is bigger than the text. And then this is the magic three dots, click on the three dots and select multiply. Okay, I missed a step, I'm sorry. Bryce, thank you for reminding me. Okay, I'm gonna turn that layer off. I forgot to add black on the bottom layer. So we're gonna click on the paint bucket tool. We're gonna fill that bottom layer with black. If you don't have a layer, you can click plus, empty, and then fill that layer with black, okay? Then you're gonna merge this layer down by clicking merge down. Now that it's combined, see the black, the black and the um, white are combined. Now, when I turn this layer on, I think, and I select multiply, boom. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I'd love someone to tell me how we can keep our glow, but this is a much faster way of doing what I did in my previous tutorial. So thank you to Bryce for this really great tip. And um, yeah, enjoy. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do another one on how to uh, do some individual fancier letters after this.